Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I turn these goodies and this basket into this beautiful honeymoon basket for a wedding gift. So let's get started. I'm using one of the cellophane wraps, some ribbon, a pair of scissors, and this basket here I got on clearance at Michael's. I love the size and the color. It was only $7.99. I also purchased these little jars here from the Dollar Tree. So I'm using this first jar to make a candy sweets kind of jar. So there's some Snickers, Hershey Kisses, um, some caramel creams, and the other ones you saw there were Russell Stouffer coconut truffles. So I'm just going to fill this jar up with these candies. And then that will be the first little candy jar. Again, I apologize for um, if anything's kind of out of frame, I was really rushing for this video, guys. Next, what I'm going to be making is a peppermint candy jar. So I'm just filling up the jar with the peppermint sticks, um, taking out any of the broken ones, and then just arranging them so that they look nice in the jar. And then that's going to be the second jar. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things I packed for the basket. Here's some mini Oreos, Snyder's honey mustard pretzels, Twizzlers, pretzel pieces, and nacho dip a wine opener and a bottle of Menage a Trois Moscato, two BPA-free wine glasses, stuffed olives, and mixed nuts. So now I'm just gonna be packing everything into the basket. Now I totally forgot to purchase some tissue paper, so that's why I'm doing this part now. Um, this is actually the day of the wedding now, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush here. So I just put down two pieces of tissue paper just to cover up the bottom of the basket, and then I start packing my um, goodies in. So the wine went in first, um, along with the glasses, and then I actually tied a ribbon around the wine opener and the two spoons, just so it looks kind of cute. And then I put some of the sweeter packaged items in the back, the savior ones in the front. So now I'm just adding some final touches um, here and there, just making sure everything fits nice and that it looks really pretty in the basket. Um, and this is totally customizable, guys, too. You don't have to purchase any of the things that I did. I just, that's what I thought she would like. And then I topped it off with the card in the front and the plates in the back. And now I'm just kind of filling in some of that empty space with some tissue paper so it looks nice and fluffy. And here is my finished product. I added one of these little tags on it that says honeymoon basket and then it says full of treat sweets and treats. So that way they know what it is. Thanks for me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this was a really fun project to make this honeymoon basket. It was less than $30. Um, total so that's a really good gift um, idea for weddings and in here I just have as you saw a bunch of treats and things they can enjoy back at the hotel um, no one wants to spend money on vending machines or go out and buy anything so that way they have some things just to hold them over and to snack on I um, hope you guys got some inspiration from this I will post a link to the video that I got inspired by it's from or at home with Nikki I'll post a link to her channel in the description box so check her out if you are not a subscriber please subscribe hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a comment until next time, bye guys.